Hey YouTube, it's Mal with Well by Mal. I wanted to make a video about calcium. Uh, there are some myths and fallacies out there about calcium and I wanted to clear a couple up real quick for you. The first one is that the best place to get calcium is dairy and I want to say that that is false. Uh, calcium from dairy is not a really good uh, example on where to get it because a couple things happen when you consume calcium in animal products. One, the proteins uh, bind up the calcium and you don't really, it's not very uh, bioavailable. Secondly, all animal products make the body very acidic and the body has to be alkaline. So when we consume any animal products, the body absolutely has to pull calcium from the bones and from the teeth to um, alkalize the blood, which is the exact opposite thing of what we want. So those two reasons are horrible reasons to consume dairy for calcium. Um, better places to get calcium is going to be from greens and beans. First of all, the calcium that you get from greens and beans, you're, it's going to be more bioavailable because you're not having to um, correct the pH in your, in your body because they're very alkalizing um, in those greens. So that is going to help you use what you need. Second of all, you don't actually need all that much calcium. I know there is a big push to consume more calcium, but truthfully, that is more of a sales pitch to get you to consume more dairy. Unfortunately, you really can't trust the FDA and the, and the uh, USDA, and sometimes you can't even trust nutritionally sound people because um, the government is basically paying them off to say consume more because they're making a lot of money off the dairy industry. The dairy industry spends hundreds of millions of dollars every single year and they spend it on um, senators and those kind of kinds of things. So there is a huge marketing ploy to get you to consume more calcium through dairy. Um, the World Health Organization actually has never documented or have had record of a calcium deficiency due to a low intake of calcium through the diet. So basically, there's no reason to consume more because that is not the problem. If you're not getting enough calcium, it is going to be because you are not able to break it down and utilize it in the body. It's not because you don't actually get the calcium into your system. Um, that is the problem. So you can consume all the calcium you want. You can consume 1,200 milligrams, 1,500 milligrams. If you need more calcium, it's not because you're not consuming enough. That is not the problem. It's just the body is not able to get it from the nutrients. Uh, it's been shown that there are countries that consume four to 600 milligrams and they have less osteopor osteoporosis than the countries that are consuming in excess of 1200 milligrams being the United States. We have much higher osteoporosis rates, including Finland, all of these uh, countries that consume high animal products because again, the acidity is leaching that calcium from our bodies. So get your calcium from kale, collard greens, um, beans, broccoli, figs, dates, you, you only need, you know, like four or six hundred milligrams. If you're not consuming animal products, your, your need for it is a lot less because we don't need to alkalize the body. Um, so some of the ingredients that you are getting when you're consuming dairy products, besides that calcium, which, you know, we're not even getting nearly as much calcium out of those products as we think we are. Um, the other ingredients are we're getting added hormones. We're getting added antibiotics, we're getting virus particles, you're getting bacteria, and you're getting pus. So all of those things are you're not getting in, you know, kale and collard greens and, and broccoli and, and beans and things like that. So a lot of additives we don't need, cholesterol, saturated fats, um, those are things that we don't need. Truthfully, dairy is one of the most toxic things we put in our mouth. We eat over 500 pounds of it every year. You're only eating 100 pounds of fruit every year. I mean, it's a little off um, balance. So obviously the Dairy Councils of America and everyone else that are trying to market dairy is doing a fantastic job because they're really making you think you need more and more dairy, which you absolutely do not need. You are getting a lot of other horrible things that come along with it. I will make another video separately on that, about all the research that has gone on to show how dairy is linked to cancer, it's linked to um, autoimmune issues, sinus issues, acne, it is one of the worst things you can actually put into your body. So quit walking around with your cheese sticks and your yogurts. 
it's the same thing as ice cream and walk around with some dried figs. I mean, they taste just as good. Uh, eat your greens, eat your beans, and get your calcium that way. And that is probably the healthiest way that you can get it. All right, guys, um, I will come back at you if you have any questions about calcium and uh, a plant-based diet. Otherwise, I will talk to you real soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.